This is Code.org, and we get to check for understanding. And I love these ones because Code.org gives us a ton of resources that these are completely doable, even if my memory is a bit fuzzy. So let's just take a look, though. Data type, primitive type, reference type, and variable. And then our options are over here. Okay, well, let's say I want to confirm maybe what I already know, or I forgot one of these. I could just click up here in Lesson 1, for instance, and that will take me here right? And students have resources available to them, a ton of them, and it's really awesome. Let me click on this lesson resources right here. And by the, if you weren't seeing that, you want to make sure, by the way, that you're not in this one. Okay. And let's see, data type. All right. Well, let me look what they're asking about. Uh, data type. Ooh, we have that right here. Okay, so too many things. Data type. The format of the data that can be stored in a variable. Okay, uh, the format of the data that can be stored in the variable. Great. I'm just using my resources. Ooh, a primitive type. So it must be something simplistic, right? Primitive, you know, they'll say primitive humans were drawing on caves and such. Let's see, though. It must be, oh, look, a basic data, data type. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. And you do want to think about these, right, before just glancing at the definition. The goal here is that you kind of get your mind around what these could be. A reference type. Well, if I think of a reference, maybe, uh, maybe when someone goes up for a job, you have to have a reference. They call and say, hey, is this person legitimate? Or, you know, did they uh yell in your class and you say yeah they yelled some and then you're like but they were the teacher and you're like mr kaiser you yelled and then i'm like anyways besides the point reference type so something that's referring let's see a data type that contains a pointer oh yeah that makes sense right it's it's pointing to a memory location for the other object it's referencing it right it's aware of it it can talk to it so a container that stores nope that contains a pointer, a variable, a container that stores a value, and that would make sense. Let's see. Yep. Boom and boom. Students, make sure to always use the resources available to you. Also, logic this out in your head first. Really, you want to grapple with these so you can master them. Let's keep going.